The first thing to keep secret, say the wise men, is your far-reaching plans. Keep quiet until this plan is fulfilled. Any of our ideas are not only not perfect, they have a huge number of weak points, which are very easy to hit and destroy everything. The second thing you should not especially share with others is to talk about your domestic conflicts and, in general, about your family life. Remember, the less you talk about problems in your family, the stronger and more stable it will be. A quarrel is getting rid of the negative energy that has accumulated in the process of communication. The third thing you should be silent about is your courage, heroism. Someone receives external tests, and someone internal. External trials are visible, therefore people receive rewards for them. But no one notices the overcoming of internal trials, and therefore no awards are awarded for them. The fourth thing that the sages do not recommend to talk about is their asceticism. Do not talk left and right about your dietary restrictions, sleep, etc. Physical asceticism is beneficial only if it is combined with an emotional component. The fifth thing you should not talk about is the ugly words that were heard from someone. You can get your shoes dirty on the street, or you can get your mind dirty. And the man who, having come home, tells everything he heard from the fool on the way, is no different from the man who came home and did not take off his shoes. The sixth thing that the sages recommend is not to share the secret about your charity. A good deed is a great rarity in this world, and that is why it must be cherished like the apple of an eye. Don't praise yourself for good deeds. Pride will immediately see and take away all the good that came as a result of this charity. The seventh thing that is not worth talking about is spiritual knowledge. Spiritual knowledge has different levels and should be revealed only after reaching a certain level of purity of consciousness. The main mistake of a novice bearer of the truth is the desire to share too high spiritual knowledge, which, instead of bringing good to a person, only confuses and even frightens him even more.